Hey everyone, welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the red live box in the upper left hand corner. That means we can chat right here live on Facebook. If you are watching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. If you love this product, if you think this is really cool, if you have never heard of Chalk Couture before, I'm going to tell you what it is, but share it with your friends because it's just such an awesome product. So hey everyone, welcome, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great day. I'm excited to do today's project. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but I have a, you know, image in my head. But again, welcome to all of our new followers and welcome back to all of our current followers. I'm so glad you stuck around with me through, through this transition. Still going through a little transition, let me tell you. It's kind of, it's kind of getting used to being in a smaller space and not having all my chalk couture around me. I kind of have to plan everything. So it's kind of different, but we'll get used to it. So, you guys, let me tell you a little bit more about what Chalk Couture is. So, we are a home business opportunity that offers DIY home decor and crafting. And you will not find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these really amazing silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste and we have our Couture inks. Now, we do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames, whiteboard, canvas pillowcases. Hey, Laura Lee, welcome. We have some really cool new surfaces like these awesome whiteboards and I'm gonna be using these wooden trees that we have. But you can use this on so many surfaces. This can be done on wood, glass, tin. Hey, Miss Wilson, how are you, girly? Um, tin, dry erase board, you can make t-shirts, dish, dish towels, and the list can go on and on. But you guys, we have all these tools that you need to create this thing. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity. And this is the greatest time of year to have a home decor business with the holiday season coming up, you guys. Great way to earn some extra income. And I would love, love, love to share that with you. It was rough, yeah, right? It still worked, it totally works. It's like crazy, but you gotta plan, gotta plan ahead. You guys, this opportunity is available in the US for $99 and also in Canada for $129. And if you are interested, give me, just give me a hashtag join and I will make sure I get you the link to my private opportunity group. Hey, Miss Wilson, I miss you like mad. I feel like I have not seen you in like a year. I swear it's like a year. But I, I just, hopefully we can connect sometime soon even though I'm not in Jersey anymore. Sorry. All right, you guys, today's project are these super awesome trees. Now, let me tell you something. I know you're thinking you're like trees. What? Christmas? No, let me tell you. Yes, totally you can do for Christmas. This is a set of three wooden cutouts, but you could do this for holidays such as Halloween. You could do it if you wanted to just make them like a simple basic design for year round. You guys don't just think of Christmas when you think of these trees. And I'm telling you, these are hot. These are a hot item and you're going to want them. They are a really, really nice, I mean, nice, like heavier weight item. They stand up, which is super, super cool. Back to New Jersey. Come back. We're hoping we close on our house. Like October 4th is the date, you guys. Say some prayers, cross your fingers. We're supposed to close on our house and I can't wait. <laughs> That's like the most stressful thing, Jess. Like waiting to close on a house and going through this whole transaction. Like I, I'm just stressed, totally stressed over this, but oh gosh. So you guys, again, these trees are crazy awesome. I highly recommend you get them. They are available on my website. What's really cool is there is a transfer, check this out, that'll go with your trees. So this is a separate purchase. This one is our Christmas tree pattern. 
but again, I don't want you to think Christmas with these right now. I want you to try to think like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and I'm going to do something like if maybe if you have a hunting cabin or maybe your theme in your home, like you have a man cave or a den, I'm going to try to go with something like that theme for today, just to kind of give you a different idea instead of just Christmas. But I am going to use this transfer here. And then I'm going to use a little part of this transfer here. This one is called our winter winter toil is what this one is called and i'm just going to use a part of this so it's going to be super fun and super cool now remember all of our transfers are reusable silk screen transfers you usually can get like eight to ten uses out of one sometimes more depending on how well you care all the directions are on the back so again should you choose to purchase from my website all the directions are right back there you can keep this you can put your transfers back in these cute little um, sleeves that they come in entirely entirely up to you so you guys whew, that was a lot in one breath I know sorry about that tell me what is going on on your Wednesday wacky hump day Wednesday while I get these transfers right out of here I would love to know what you're doing what's going on Give me a hashtag with your favorite holiday season. I would love to know. Say hashtag Halloween, hashtag Christmas, hashtag Thanksgiving, hashtag 4th of July. Whatever your favorite holiday season is, just comment that below with a hashtag. I would love to know. Now, we do have really amazing scissors uh, that we offer at Chocotour. Unfortunately, mine are somewhere... <laughs> somewhere outside I think in a crate I'm not a hundred percent positive and I have not had a chance to go out I have not had chance a chance blah, 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 to go out there and check them out so I'm just cutting my transfer beautiful thing they have cut lines right on here for you if you're not a straight cutter I am definitely not a straight cutter I am horrible at cutting sometimes and without my amazing scissors I have to use regular scissors I know you guys have seen my scissors. They're a beautiful teal color, and I love them, but I don't have them. So sad. Oh, let's see, you guys. What's going on? Yeah, living in an RV. Oh, yeah, so for those of you who are RVers, listen, huge opportunity here. You can craft from your RV and have a business right which is super amazing miss wilson knows she used to do it she crafts every summer in her little rv it's still it's i absolutely love it so far i will say that we have been loving it we love being outdoors yes we have had our new jersey fires charlene if you catch this replay charlene's like you're tricking us hey amy welcome you're still here no nope. no nope. i'm not i'm in i'm in south carolina you guys but we love the weather here. Um, getting used to the bugs. Like, they're huge. Like, these are some huge bugs. And I would swear, but that wouldn't be appropriate. But they're huge. Like, I'm talking like bugs. Like bugs. Ooh. Anyway, you guys. Again, let me know your holidays. No one's telling me what your favorite holiday is. I want to know. I'm going to do this one last just to kind of give you a surprise what I'm going to do with that because I think that's really cool. So now the other nice thing about these wooden trees, you guys, they, you can definitely chalk on both sides of these. There's absolutely no question. You can chalk on both sides. I'm only going to be doing one for you today. So I'm going to put this one on here, this one on here, and then I'm going to do a really fun design on here. So the first thing you always want to do with your transfers, oh, thank you, Amy, is you want to make sure you write on the back of your carrier sheets because there are two sides and you want to make sure you put it on the right one so that it doesn't stick. And I'll show you a trick if you don't. Plus, remember, again, if you're new, these are reusable over and over again eight to ten times you guys just think of the things you don't have to use these on these trees you could do them on something else to hang on your wall like you could totally do different patterns on a chalkboard on a piece of wood and just that way oh my, my head's going sorry i get off side i get sidetracked when it comes to like thinking about all the things you can do so you want to take your finger run it over the edge to get it started don't pick at your corners you guys always run it over the edge 
I like to flip mine over and remove my carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, do you see that? You've got the shiny side and then you've got the matte side. The shiny side is where your transfer always goes back on. Just a fun quick tip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this transfer. I'm not fuzzing this one up today. I'm just gonna take this transfer and I'm gonna place it right where I want it on my little tree here. Do you check that out? See how that lines up great? I love these trees. Love them. I have more for my mantle that we will have in our other RV. So I'm just going to place that where I want it. And then I'm going to smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Okay. So this has a lot of silk screen in it, right? So I'm just smoothing that out the best I can so there's no air bubbles in there. Now, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with, oh, Happy Halloween, Jessica, one of my favorites. They say Halloween is like one of the most decorated holiday seasons. So this is our pesto chalk paste, you guys. You two, oh, Amy's got a couple going on. Our chalk paste is water soluble and semi-permanent. So it goes on as a liquid and dries as a solid. Now this is a new jar. And as you can see, you want to stir this up to get all those pigments blended together. Halloween and Christmas. Those are awesome. And if it is not, you just add a little bit of water and Christmas. Right, Jessica? I know. I get it. And those are like the two most decorated holidays. And we have everything. Like I put in the title of this, this is DIY home decor for each and every season. And even though I'm using these gorgeous Christmas trees, totally can be done for Halloween. Like there are so many cute ideas you could do for Halloween with like the, the cats and the spider webs on these trees, um, a buffalo plaid in black. Oh yeah, totally awesome. But this one I'm going to kind of do a fall theme with. For like I said, like maybe you've got a man cave or a hunting cabin, something like that. But your chalk paste, like I said, do you see how that's falling off of my stir stick? That's kind of how I like it. I like mine to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. All right, then I'm going to get my fancy little squeegee. I'm just going to use the mini squeegee today. We have several different squeegees, but I'm going to use my mini. I'm going to dip it right into my chalk paste, and then I'm going to scrape this across my silk screen area. And you do want to apply pressure and just scrape it across that silk screen. Doesn't matter if you go up or down, left or right. You just want a nice consistency across there. Nice even strokes. Any excess, you guys, you scrape right off of here. Okay? Because you don't want to waste your chalk paste. Plus, you kind of don't want those lines in your design. Sometimes if you use too much chalk paste, you can get lines in there. Oops. And you absolutely don't want that. I went off my board. I did a, oops, I went off my board. Okay, so then like I said, I'm just gonna take this and scrape that. Just like that. Okay, are you ready for this? This is what is like so awesome. Hey Linda, how are you? And I'm gonna peel it up and check it out. This right here, my transfer is gonna go right in my water off to the side. I just have a little tin tub right off to the side. And I've got this beautiful, beautiful tree. You guys, check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detailing. Look at the nice crisp, crisp lines. The silk screens do all the work for you. So even if you are not crafty, you guys, anybody can do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this one up right over here. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next one. Again rubbing my finger over the edge, removing my transfer from my carrier sheet. And then I'm gonna place this one on here. I love, like these products, every time I use our products, I am blown away by what you can do. I was not, I was not really a crafty, crafty person. I like crafting. I've tried making wreaths, which I do, I do fairly well at making a wreath, but, um, I wasn't really that super crafty person until I went to, I went to one of those uh, paint workshops. 
um, with a good friend of mine and we had the greatest time and let me tell you like it just turned into an obsession and I was like there has to be something out there that I can do this as a business and long story short after searching for things on the internet you know how the internet like tends to know what you're looking at which is kind of creepy but it does um, Chaka Tour popped up in my newsfeed, you guys, and that was how I found it. And in November, it'll be two years that I have been with this amazing company and could not be more blessed to have found it. And I would love, love to share that with you. It is simply amazing. So again, squeegee, we have our small squeegee, or I'm sorry, our small squeegee and our mini. So you can see the difference. This is just a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to take, and I'm going to use our shimmering gold. I love this color, one of my faves. And I'm just gonna, again, scrape it across the silk screen. Now my shimmering paste, I tend to not add a little bit of water just because their consistency is a little bit different, okay? Just a little bit different on that one. So make sure you tell me what holiday is your favorite? Hashtag Christmas, hashtag 4th of July, Hashtag Valentine's Day, hashtag Halloween. I want to know what your favorite holiday is. Do, 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 do. All right. Again, scraping off your excess, putting it right back in the jar. Squeegees are also reusable. Go right in the water. Let's peel it up and reveal that amazing design. You guys, seriously. If this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. I love, this is the first time I've got to do these trees and I'm, I'm just amazed at the beauty. Again, we're gonna set this one aside. Check it out though, here, wait, let's do this. Look how cute they are so far. And again, not Christmassy, not Christmassy at all. Definitely a like den type of decor or game room, right? And then let's see what I'm gonna do here with this last guy. You guys are going to be like, what? Well, I hope you are anyway, right? All right, so now I've got my big guy and I'm going to get my black chalk paste for this one. So I'm going to go with black and my black looks like, uh oh, yeah, my black is kind of thick. So, okay, you guys check this out. Do you see how thick that is? It's like super, super thick, even when I stir it. So I'm going to get my little squirt bottle Yes, we have these as well. One squirt is usually enough, depending on how thick your chalk paste is. This one, this one's a little bit thicker, only because I think it was sitting outside. <gasps> you know what, there's something I actually wanna do first. Oops, 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 let me, hold on. Hold on, I wanna make this tree look distressed. So, I've got a plan and I hope it works. I'm gonna try it. Let me get my chalk paste all stirred up. Okay, he looks pretty good. My black looks pretty good. Now let me get my gray. My, sorry, it's called storm. It's not gray, it's storm. So I'm gonna stir this up. And you know what, let me actually put that down just a little bit. Okay, so what I wanna do, I actually want, I don't know if I wanna use gray. I think I'm gonna go with I'm going to try bark instead, you guys. I want to distress this a little bit, okay? Christmas and Halloween, can't choose, right? I know, I get it. I get it. I want to do something where I think, I think it's going to work, but I'm not sure. Hopefully it works or else I'm going to ruin a tree. So we're going to, we're going to try it. All right, so I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm going to get it wet. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit wet. I'm gonna put some water on it like that. And then I'm gonna get some chalk paste. I'm just gonna use my stir stick. I'm gonna go like this, just a little bit, you guys. Because I wanna see if I can distress this little tiny bit. Ha ha ha, it's gonna work. Okay. So I'm just kind of got a, my paper towels got water on it. Okay. And I just added the chalk paste and I'm kind of like wiping it. 
give it a little bit of a distressed look. Okay, let me get another one. And if I want to, I can add a little bit more. Do you see what I did there? So it kind of looks like it's distressed, like the, the old antique, right? So if you wanted to add a little bit more, you absolutely could. But I think I'm gonna stick with that. I kind of like that. I like the way it looks, right? Super awesome! I'm happy! Happy, happy, happy dance! Oh gosh, I sound like David Venable on QVC. All right, let me get my hair dryer. Oh, thank you, Linda! I just wanna hit this really quick to make sure I dry it. Because I don't want to pull it up on my transfer. Because it is chalk paste and, and I got it wet. So I just kind of want to dry this. Again, make sure you guys are letting me know what your favorite holiday is. And if you love this video, please give me a share as long as you are not a designer. Okay. Let me wipe it off because I can see there's a little bit of paper towel on there. Okay, check it out, you guys. It's a distressed tree. Super cool, right? Just took some chalk paste, a, a paper towel with water, rubbed it on there, wiped off any excess. Cool. Love it. All right, so here's what we are going to do. And actually, I need to move some stuff around because I have this tiny little table and my trees aren't fitting on this tiny little table with what I'm getting ready to do. The beauty of living in an RV. Yes, Linda, these are available in our back office. The trees, the transfers are all available. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna use this whole transfer, I'm just gonna use part of it, all right? So I don't, I'm not going to take it all the way off. I'm just going to set this here and then let me see what I want to do here. Because I want him, I want the deer on there is what I'm looking to do, you guys. I just kind of want the deer and a couple of the foliage, a little bit of the foliage on there. So, I think I'm going to pull him down just a little bit. that's going to work. I don't want the bunny. The pheasant would really be pretty on here too, you guys. Like I said, this is for more of like the man cave or if you have a hunting cabin, um, a den where maybe your husband has his trophies there, anything like that. This would be really awesome one. So once I've got it where I want it, I hope this turns out the way I'm hoping. I'm just going to smooth that out again so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. Can you guys see that okay? Like I said, I just got this large transfer and I'm just going to go just like this, smoothing it out. Just make sure. I hope he looks okay. I'm a little worried he's a little tilted, but I think. Well, we can move it. Let's move it. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Beauty of Chalk Couture, you can move things around. It does work. I want his antlers on the whole thing. His antlers. Okay. Oh, Robin, this is an amazing thing. It's called Chalk Couture. I would love to share it with you. I do have a private VIP group as well if anyone is interested in that. Um, you can comment VIP, but we are a DIY home decor crafting company and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. And you have the opportunity, you could be a designer if you love crafting as well. Um, Jessica, the chalk paste really doesn't take long to dry. so. A hair dryer will speed along the process, but this is that one I just did. And as you can see, what, I can already touch it and it, it hasn't been that long. But if you hit it with a hair dryer, you usually can touch it pretty quick. 
All right, you guys, so I've got my transfer down. I'm gonna get my squeegee. Now I just have to pay attention because I don't wanna hit my bunny's butt and I wanna get all of this in there, all right? So I'm gonna take my squeegee and I'm just going back black, you guys. I'm not getting fancy with this. I'm just gonna hit this with some black. Just like this. I'm trying to just hit the places that I want. Like I said, I think this would be awesome for a man cave, don't you? Or like I said, maybe you have a rustic den. Rustic, that's the word I was looking for, rustic. Scrape off your excess when we're done here. Hold on, I'll get there. And it doesn't matter, remember, up or down, left or right, does not matter. Just wanna scrape off your lines applying pressure to get it through that silk screen. Robin, if you have any questions about our products, please let me know. I would be happy to answer those for you. It is a fun DIY home decor um, company that just launched uh, a couple years ago. Okay, you guys, are you ready? Let's peel and reveal. Fingers crossed, this turns out exactly what I'm thinking. What do you think? Oh, big breath, big breath. Now, when you do your transfers, remember, top to bottom, left to right, never corner to corner. <gasps> you guys. You guys. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That's gorgeous. Oh, now, I am going to take this transfer and put this in water because, remember, reusable eight to ten times these transfers are all reusable all the detailing is already in your transfers there's no weeding there is no picking out any pieces of vinyl it is all done for you with these beautiful products so Jessica real quick check this out I'm gonna show you you want to know how long it takes to dry like right now it's wet and you can see it's wet but if you take a hair dryer and hit it for a few minutes Oh my gosh, you guys, wowzers. You can see like it starts, you probably can't